so we'll, we'll, we'll hold that thought. Um, I'll just give you the headline news. Aldershot Town looking to beat Eastleigh at home in the National League for the first time in 10 years. I should add that Aldershot have a pretty good record at the Silver Lake, unbeaten in the last seven years with five draws and two wins, but here, including the FA Trophy 10 years ago, Eastleigh have won eight, drawn three of their last 11 matches. It's been a really happy hunting ground for them. Goal, backing goal, Marcus Dewhurst. Fact three, uh, we believe, of many a Spurred and Aaron Jones. Across the middle, Ollie Scott, Cameron Hargreaves, Theo Widrington and Ashley Akpan. And then Josh Barrett and James Henry continuing in those uh, advanced number 10 positions behind Hadi Gander who comes back in for Jack Barham. And uh, eight yellows shown in that. We're underway. Welcome to our BBC Surrey Sport listeners. Welcome also to NLTV viewers. Akpan, Steve, quick point from you. Yeah, it was uh, um, Hadi Gandor. Go, I'll break off. Yeah, Akpan coming in. Ball into the middle. Controlled by Barrett. Get it onto his right foot, then his left. Then a shot comes in. That deflects behind. Combination of Taylor and I think Fernandez both threw their bodies in yeah, front of that defending. effort from Barrett. And all the shot can get the uh, centre backs up to try and do some work in the opposing area, Steve. Absolutely. I think I think Hadi Gandor's main instructions in the opening 25 minutes has been to win a free kick high up, to get those easterly defenders on the back foot and to make the referee aware of their physicality. Henry with the free kick into the area, headed down to the edge of the area, picked up by Hargreaves, shoots, good strike, carried away to Akpan, takes the ball on and pulls it across. Gandor can't shoot, follow-up shot is straight at the keeper from Theo Widrington, packed penalty area, shots doing well. I think Agpan did well to pull it back across, showed a bit of composure. Somehow the ball stays out of the Eastleigh net, 28 and a half minutes, shots nil, Eastleigh nil. Another decision to make, and the referee has started to give them some of these contact fouls, like contact fouls. Here's Hargreaves trying to give Akpan a, a run down the right side, but Akpan had just strayed offside. Henry takes the ball in his stride. Good block. Hargreaves gets it, runs nicely into the area, squares it across. It's behind everybody. Barrett's got it now. Shifts it out of his feet, gets the shot in. That's blocked. Akpan, follow up shot. Oh, straight at the keeper again. A little bit of deflection on it too, but not that changed the direction. Henry's out there for the potential short corner with Barrett, but Barrett's now going to send it in. Lucky Bird! Brilliant half volley is parried away down to his left by McDonnell. Another chance for the shots. Here's Barrett going to send another ball into the far post. That's headed behind by McCallum for the corner. And Lucky Bird couldn't have struck it any better, Steve Gibbs. No, he caught it sweetly on the half volley, arriving almost unseen at the far post ball went through a crowd somehow McDonald was alert to it and was able to parry it away from danger here's Vokins with the free kick one in the air again by many A's getting up above Francelet on this occasion uh, easily have got three at the back one of them shade huge ball forward McCallum heads it down oh it's missed followed up saved by the feet of Dewhurst the first time he's been called into action in the 43rd minute Vokins takes it short to Maguire. He goes for the overlap and then uh, Vokins tries to send it again to the far post. It's headed back across the goal and bundled over the line somewhat scruffily. But Eastleigh have scored at the ground where they always score and they always seem to win. And it is that man who had his lunging poked effort denied by Dewhurst in the first half, Ludwig Francilet. The goal, I believe, has been given. Uh, headed back across the goal and he arrived with something on it at the far post. I know not what, we'll have to wait for the replays, but after dominating the first half and giving up just the one chance, Aldershot Town fall behind. Three minutes into the second half, Francelette with the goals. Goal kick taken by McDonnell, flicked on. But uh, cut out by Lucky Bird, who feeds Tyler Frost on the left side. 
He'll send the ball down the left for Ryan Jones to try and get there in front of Fernandez. Another free kick to shots, another yellow card for Fernandez, who, who doesn't even dispute it. He just runs, takes his position, all shot, take the free kick quickly. Henry's got it to the byline, sends it across to the far post. Header! Ryan Jones! No, Jackie Barham! Jackie Barham's there! And all the shot get themselves a richly deserved equaliser. Terrific left-footed ball stood up to the far post by James Henry. And a shots player arrives. It's little Jack Barham who jumps unopposed, buries his header. Eastley won. All the shot down won. Well, at the moment, Eastley have got it on the left side with... Quigley working the passes with uh, Vokins on the left hand side. All shot of nicked it though, Hargreaves it is. Theo Widget with the ball, Jack Barham running onto it against the last defender, tries a shot. Oh, it's brilliantly saved by McDonnell. He struck it so well, Jack Barham. But uh, McDonald parried it up in the air and then caught it. Back to back chances for Barham. Shots take the free kick short from Jones to Whittington. He's under pressure, goes back to Jones, who goes back to Marcus Dewhurst. Now a huge kick from the edge of his area. And Henry jumps, can't win it, but the ball does fall nicely for Ryan Jones. He's running towards the edge of the area, gets a shot in low, and he scores! Wonderful take, wonderful finish from Ryan Jones. Two goals in the week in the National League Cup, and he ghosts onto that ball shimmies forward and finishes low to McDonald's left. All the shot down, two, Eastley one. And it's a squeaky bottom moment for all the shot down. Seven games without a win in the National League. Only one against Eastley in 11 years. Two one up in the 97th minute. In comes the corner. Headed away by Barham only to the far post to Perry Perry to Fernandez. Fernandez to Quigley Quigley looking to try and get the cross in he's got the cross in, there's a header he's headed away he's still on the edge of the area, still the referee doesn't blow the final whistle Eastley send it out to the left side we're not quite through the 97th minute shot's going to come in, is it from the edge of the penalty area, two players back there they've still got it, edge of the area Semenyo's out there, sends the ball in and it's there, oh, saved! And shot over the bar! Quigley with the header, brilliantly saved by Dewhurst. Follow-up effort over the bar. Surely the shots have done it now. Surely the referee will blow the final whistle when this goal kick comes through. Certainly a point from this game. The shots have started the better side. They've been the better side in the first half. Eastley had their spells for sure. They took the lead, shots have turned it round. We're now in the 98th minute, the back end of it. Referee Callum Walchester blows the final whistle, which is greeted as if it were a goal. And the shots have beaten Eastley at the EBB for just the second time in 12, 11 years. Steve Gibbs, final scoreline. All shot down two, Eastley one.